Okay, in this video I'm going to go over the crochet hook size and how to choose it, your gauge, a chain, a how to, and how to do a chain, and a slip stitch. You have a small, medium, and a large hook. Typically, with your yarn, this one's a medium for, it'll tell you what hook size you need, which is an H. It'll tell you right here, it's going to tell you your gauge here, medium four. So this one's calling for a medium size, which is an H. Usually medium here, this isn't an H, it's a J, but medium usually runs about H here. For your thinner yarns, you'll go with a smaller hook and the sleeve of the yarn or your pattern will typically tell you which hook to use. Or for the thicker, then you use a large hook. It's pretty, pretty basic and simple. And usually patterns tell you. So, also I'm going to go over the gauge. On the sleeve here, this one's telling you that this gauge is four by four inches, 10 by 10 centimeters. That's the gauge. Okay, if you are new to learning what a gauge is, you'll have your pattern here. This is a finished hat and you have your measuring tape. So you take your four inches and you can place it on the hat. And then you count the stitches from the inch beginning beginning to your four inches. If you go from here to your four inches and you count those stitches, that's how many stitches that you'll have in your four inches for your gauge. That is for specific patterns. This gauge for this hat probably won't be that big. It just depends, but that's just an example. So basically your gauge refers to the amount, the amount of crocheted fabric that a specific hook size and yarn will create. It's the amount of stitches per inch per set centimeters. If it's four inches across, you just count how many stitches are across within those four inches. So it helps you stay on task with your gauge. So if you have, the gauge will tell you, say there's 16 stitches in between here and that's 16 double crochet. Well, if you're working on a project and you check your gauge and you are at 20 double crochet, well, you might be over your gauge and it might create the pattern, um, might give you too many, you might be working too many stitches, you might be doing the stitches too loosely or too tightly, and you might just be off the gauge. And so it's important to follow what the gauge is within the inches that they're telling you in the pattern. Okay, so that's the gauge. Okay, and to get started on how to hold your hook. I was taught to properly hold, properly hold my hook underhand like so. So I typically will hold it like I'm holding a pencil. I know um, a lot of crocheters I've seen hold it overhand and that's okay. If you want to hold it overhand and that's more comfortable, if that works for you, that's fine. I sometimes go back and forth depending if my hand is hurting or not or how thick the, the yarn is and if my hand's getting tired working it this way. So a slip knot. Starting as a beginner with a slip knot, I have the yarn start over my fingers, wrap it around as though you're doing a circle, and then you wrap it over. You can t either take your hook inside that circle and grab that yarn, and then you can pull the yarn and that creates your slip knot onto your hook. That's one way of doing it. Or an easy way for me is usually I wrap around, wrap around, and then I grab that yarn in the center and then I pull it through and create like a loop knot and then I insert my hook. That's another way to do it. I'm sure there's other ways. Those are the two basic ways that I do it. And then I'm going to show you how to do a chain. This is for beginners. Of course, if you know how to do a chain, you can skip all of this. 
So for a chain, they call this a yarn over. And then you pull your hook with that yarn over and pull it through the loop. That is a chain. So yarn over, pull your hook through that loop with the yarn over and there's your chain. Yarn over, pull your loop, your yarn through the loop. Typically, this is how you start most patterns, with the chain. And this is the big basic beginnings of crocheting. Once you have your chains, I'm going to show you how to slip knot. Okay, so usually they'll say, work your double crochet or half double crochet, like from the second hook from the chain. So you would count, here's your loop on the hook, you count one, two. And we're going to do a slip stitch. So that's the next basic stitch. So you insert your hook, yarn over, grab that yarn and pull it through the loop, then pull it through the loop again. Insert your hook, grab that yarn, pull it through, and pull it through that loop again. And that's a slip stitch. Insert your hook first, then yarn over, pull that yarn, and then pull it through again. And that creates your slip stitch across. Okay, and then you have this at the end. And so those are the beginnings of starting your pattern and simple stitches. Okay, so thank you for watching.